there's so many people that can that have the ability to be great athletes, great people. But if you don't have the education, young man, all that doesn't mean it, it's, it's all waste goes to the wayside. Special people are ones that the ones that work hard. Um, I, I watch my wife on an everyday basis, and the way our family approaches my wife's uh, illness with MS is that you know she has MS, but MS doesn't have her. And I say that to everybody out here. You know, somebody, well, sometimes you get sick, sometimes you get hurt. You, if you let the pain beat you, then you're going to be defeated. And my years here with Walter Kemp, and it started back in 1985, is when I was first associated with Walter Kemp. I was a three-time All-American at the, the three years that I played in college. I, I registered my freshman year. I played the next three, and then my class graduated. And then I, I became a... a one of the first juniors to ever enter the NFL. It wasn't, in, it wasn't accepting juniors back in the 80s like they are today. So I had to sit and I had to watch. I couldn't go to any combines. I couldn't participate in any other uh, college uh, activity until I was accepted to the NFL two days before the draft. So I was sitting there kind of worried. Um, I came out of the draft with Bo Jackson. You know, I was told I could be one of those top five picks and I didn't get picked to the 70th player in the draft. And one of the reporters approached me and asked me, you know, how did it feel to lose a half a million dollar signing bonus? So I started looking around, trying to figure out who he was talking about, because I didn't lose any money. I never had a half a million dollars. So how could I lose it? You know, my signing bonus back then, guys, it's a little different today, was $78,000. You know, that was, you know, a long time ago. And I think Dan and I was talking about money and, and the guys uh, uh, that are making the money today. Um, but the one thing that I can remember on, on that draft day was is that I, as I sat there and they called my name, um, how, how excited I was to go to the NFL. But I wasn't excited about the team that drafted me because I've heard so much about the Cincinnati Bengals and they weren't winning and you know things weren't well. And, but I said to myself, I got an opportunity to play a sport that I love to play. And when I say love to play, I'm 45 years old right now and I'm, my body is beat up as much as it is, but if I had an opportunity to, to do it again, I would do it again because I love playing the game. And I say this to you guys that are, that are in here today, and you're going to get an opportunity, some of opportunity to go play college football. If you play the game because you love it, you're going to be successful, very successful. It's not about the money that you make because the money's going to be there. You got an opportunity to do something that you've done as a child, that you've succeeded now that you're in high school. And when you go into college, you're going to play it because you love playing the game. And one day somebody's going to call your name and say that you're the person drafted by an NFL team. And when you take that step to that next level, if you approach it, not as a business, even though I know it is a business, if you approach it because you love playing it, you'll go a long way a very long way. And I thank you guys very much for letting me come out and speak again. This is, I mean, I'm, I, I would rather do this than anything else. But one thing about Walter Kemp, and I, I meant to say this earlier, like I said, I made a, a bunch of All-American teams, Kodak All-American, Playboy All-American, AP All-American. I, I, I made everybody's All-American team. The one thing that I, I like about all the All-American teams, and I'm not saying it because I'm standing here, this is the best organization and all Americans that you can ever be a part of. This this organization, this is family. I said it last year that everybody sitting here right now is a family member of Walter Kemp. And don't ever forget anything. If you don't forget anything anything or remember anything, remember Walter Kemp. Remember the guys, the people that put together Walter Kemp. They have been so special. They have been so much liked I mean, you don't have to even raise your hand for any help because they're there to help you. My, my son and daughter is now taking the trip to, uh, they were supposed to be here this morning, they're taking the trip to Yale. And my son came up to me uh, and said that, you know, everybody's walking around with the little badges at Walter Campus. Always, they're always asking me, do I need something? You know, they're always very polite. And my daughter said that they were just, you know, everybody had a smile on their face. This is the best organization that I've ever been associated with. 
and I'll continue to be, to be a part of this program. And any one of you guys that are sitting here have any doubt about what's the best All-American team? Walter King. Thank you.